originally I thought this was going to be a three-part series, but now that I'm editing it, it looks like it's going to have to be a six-part series uh, because we're going to be testing three different bullet types, a round ball, a 225 grain conical, and the 255 grain Kaido conical, uh, which is a hunting bullet. And we're going to be shooting them with two different types of powder, uh, GoX 3FG, which we've used in the past, and also Hodgson's Triple Seven, which is more powerful uh, and is favored by the hunting crowd. So we want to show what the more powerful powders can do. So that's going to require quite a few videos to get through all of this. In this first video, we're going to be testing round balls and GoX 3FG black powder. In part two, we'll still be using round balls and we'll move on to the triple seven. Well, to address the concern that our previous tests were run with a custom Ruger Old Army that had a 14 inch barrel that nobody else in the world uh, could duplicate, we're going to run this test with a couple of standard barrel lengths in the Ruger Old Army. And I've got to thank my friend Rowdy Yates, who is very well known in cowboy action shooting circles as one of the top black pack shooters for loaning me these guns. I really appreciate it. So these guns have been somewhat tuned, uh, but still they would, they would be much closer to the stock guns that any of you might have. So we've got a seven and a half inch barrel and a five and a half inch barrel, and we're gonna test them both. Well, we're going to start off the GoX round accuracy testing with the five and a half inch barrel Ruger Old Army. we can get off of the five and a half inch barrel Ruger Old Army loaded with a round ball and 40 grains of 3F GoX. Well, now for the moment of truth. How many water jugs will the five and a half inch Ruger Old Army throw a round ball powered by 40 grains of GoX through? Let's see. Well, the answer is five. It dented the sixth, but it didn't go through it. And here's the ball in the fifth jug. In pretty good shape. Let's see what the, uh, well, let's see what the seven and a half inch barreled Ruger can do loaded with round balls and go X.
Well, let's take a velocity check on the 7.5 inch Ruger, loaded with a round ball and 40 grains of OX3F. Well, it's time to see what kind of penetration we can get off the 7.5 inch Ruger loaded with 40 grains of 3F Go-X and a round ball. Again, we're in five, did not make it through. And here's the bullet. So five jugs for both length barrels with the, with the Go-X. This chart shows all the results for the round ball in uh, both of the pistols and with both types of powder. So in part two, we'll be looking at triple seven, which is called T7 on the chart. And as you can tell, we got a little bit better penetration and better velocity out of it, but I was not crazy about the accuracy uh, with either of these loads through these pistols. In fact, I wasn't really crazy about the accuracy of anything that I tested during this test, which is partly attributable to me. I don't like shooting off a bench, uh, and um, at 25 yards is about as good as I do whether I have a bench or not. But... Uh, we'll show you the charts from all the projectiles and all the powders so you can compare them and then we'll move on to part two, which will be round balls and triple seven.